Oh, we love her. The travel mom, Emily Kaufman, sitting right here. You may want to pay attention to these smart tips from travel mom, Emily Kaufman. Let's welcome back the travel mama herself, Emily Kaufman, everybody. For the millions in cars this weekend, the travel mom, Emily Kaufman, says she's now road tripping with sanitation kits. You hear the hard stories that there aren't enough TSA agents on hand to deal with the crowd, the long lines at that. Help, what do we do? So we brought in our favorite travel expert, the travel mom, Emily Kaufman. Girl, look at you. Before we get into this, you always have to make us jealous. Where are you? We've literally traveled the world. You know where the, the, the great spots are. Many people are eager to plan their next vacation. I know I am. The travel mom, Emily Kaufman, has found a beautiful spot that she is joining us uh, from this morning. Things are not quite up to what we expected pre-pandemic. And truthfully, there's excitement and positivity and fun all around travel right now. So let's keep that as the focus and know that we're going to hit some speed bumps as we ramp back up. But it's a great time to travel. It's a great time to be back out there. Travel expert Emily Kaufman says you can plan for later. What would you tell people who are wondering, is now a good time to book? Now is a great time to book to take advantage of these fares. I believe right now at this time, it's best to book directly with your airline or directly with the hotel. When you're booking, you're often asked all the time, really, you're asked, should you buy that travel insurance? In today's climate, what is your advice? We protect our other investments, things like our cars or our homes. So why wouldn't we protect our precious travel plans? Because if you have trip delay, trip cancellation, trip interruption, you're lost or stolen luggage, uh, medical expense emergencies, they got you covered. Yesterday was the big day for all of the Avengers and Disney fans alike because at Disney's California Adventure, they opened up the Avengers campus and you must buy your tickets ahead of time. You have to have a ticket mm -hmm. and a reservation for the same theme park on the same day. Traveling by RV is like having your own personal hotel room on wheels, but there are things to know before you get behind the wheel. There are some things you need to keep in mind when going to campsites. So you can't just show up with an RV. You have to make reservations at these campsites. Absolutely. Our national parks require it. So do state parks and private campgrounds all require reservation. Emily is not just telling us about ideal vacations, she is actually helping us give some away today. And a great getaway in the United States, it's as tropical as you can get while still feeling the arms of Uncle Sam wrapped tightly around you, is Hawaii. Hawaii always has been and still remains one of my favorite places to visit. I love so much about it. The food, the music, the beaches, the people, and the culture. Greetings from California. I'm Emily Kaufman, the travel mom, with another fantastic giveaway. This time, you'll be visiting the Vespera Resort on Pismo Beach. Are you ready for a whole lot of fun in Puerto Vallarta? I'm Emily Kaufman, the travel mom, with a terrific giveaway to the Westin Resort and Spa in Puerto Vallarta. And um, an interesting question, like how you even became the travel mom? Well, I started as a preschool teacher in mommy and me classes and parenting classes. So I started talking as the travel mom because I was giving people advice on how to travel with their kids. Well, I'm also coming from the perspective of a mom. Yes. And I think mom deserves a vacation too. Yeah. And it's very stressful for parents when they're traveling with little ones oh, and yeah. for I've the heard. first time. <laughs> So that's how I, I started going on TV and talking as the travel mom. I really believe that your attitude and your energy is such an important thing to bring to your travel experience. And people are going to be uptight. They're going to be uncomfortable. I try to smile at people, be patient, be kind, and not engage on an aggressive level. I really think that we're all fortunate and blessed to be returning to travel. And hopefully that's the attitude everybody's going to bring. You're right, I should calm down, everyone should calm down. Thank you for your advice. I, I love your attitude, Ellen. 